wonder about? Rain, snow, sleet and hail. So here's the book To Know It All written by T. Albert and illustrated by myillustration.com and the book credit Monkey Pen Science has never been so much fun. Here is all that a child needs to know about water, rain, hail, sleet and water cycle. When Professor Moise Tior teaches, little readers read, learn and ask for more. Hi, I am Professor Moise Tior. And I will be telling you about water. You can call it rain. You can call it snow. You can call it sleet. You can call it hail. But it's water all the same. Do you ever wonder how old water is or where it comes from? The answers may surprise you. The next time you see a pond or uh, even a glass of water, think about how old that water might be. Do you really want to know? I thought you did. Did you brush your teeth this morning? Well, some of the water that you used could have fallen from the sky yesterday or a week or month ago. It's pretty new. But some part of that water is very old and was around during the time of the dinosaurs or even longer. Or maybe it's little newer like from the time when the pharaohs were building pyramids. You see there is only a limited amount of water and it gets recycled. Yep, it keeps going round and round. We call it the water cycle. Yes, you have a question. No, it's not like a jet ski or a bicycle for water. It is nothing you can ride. It is how water keeps going round and round. Let me explain. First, I would like to say that water is very important. Imagine an empty lake. The fish would be very unhappy. Imagine an empty ocean. Your day at the beach would be like going to a desert. And since you are mostly made up of water, let's just say you would be a lot lighter. The water cycle has four parts, evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. Let's talk about evaporation. When the water in an ocean, a lake, a pond, a river or a stream is heated by the sun, it turns into vapor or steam. It then floats into the air. Of course, when you are out on a hot day or you exercise, you sweat. Well, guess what? That evaporates too. What about those drops of dew on leaves or the grass? Yes, they do evaporate and become a part of the water cycle. Condensation as the water vapor gets cooled, it changes back into a liquid and turns into clouds. Precipitation When the air in the clouds cannot hold any more liquid, it falls back to the ground. It returns in different ways, depending on the temperature and where it comes down. 
it can fall as rain or it can fall as snow did you know that no two snowflakes are the same mm something new that i have learned today it can return as sleet which is like rain that has almost frozen or it can come as hail those frozen balls of rain that can actually break windows and dent cars and finally collection no matter how it comes down it is collected and stored it can fall into the ocean lake pond river or stream if it lands on the ground it may roll into a river or be sucked up by the soil it may even pass through the ground to an underground lake or river to be used later now what happens tomorrow when the sun comes out that's right the water cycle starts over again oops the sun is out but don't worry professor moisture will return after all i am a part of the water cycle evaporation condensation precipitation and collection bye bye